uh, and they were first cousins, but they couldn't get married in Ohio. So back in, in 1924, they actually came down to Tennessee <laughs> to get married. Uh, <laughs> marriage is just a funny concept in this country, isn't it? For example, there's a lot of discourse out there about gay marriage. Should the gays be allowed to marry? Does it ruin the sanctity of marriage? But then we have opinions about marrying your first cousin. And that doesn't seem to be as repulsive to conservatives for some reason. Uh, because we might regret something we say. And I'm, okay. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Uh, uh, Chairman Jernigan, I'm going to support your bill, but it, it is with a little bit of sadness because, you know, my, uh, my grandparents uh, came over to this country mm -hmm. through Ellis Island in Italy back in the 1920s. Uh, my grandmother was named Sandrella de Luciano, and uh, my grandfather was named An Antonio de Luciano. And they settled uh, in Lorain, Ohio, right uh, south of Lake Erie, uh, next to Cleveland. So this is about a bill to ban first cousin marriages in Tennessee. And the story he's about to expound upon about his parent, grandparents uh, was unprompted and unnecessary. And frankly, not something I would admit freely. Uh, and they were first cousins, but they couldn't get married in Ohio. So back in, in 1924, they actually came down to Tennessee <laughs> to get married. Uh, <laughs> so, but for the existence of the current law, I would not be here. But uh, despite that, I think it's good legislation, and I intend to support There's it. An opening there. Isn't there? All right, Leader Lambert, you're up. Teed up. I'm not real sure what to say after that, but I will say this: I, I'm just gonna gonna just disregard what was just said and appreciate that family history. I'm, I'm going to vote for this bill because I know in the public eye it's the right thing, but uh, I just need everyone to know I'm, I'm a little sad about it. He's a little forlorn about the ban on marital incest. We're sad about not being able to marry our cousins anymore. But gays, gay people, they're ruining the sanctity of marriage. Now this, this cousin's clip, it's, it's kind of funny, right? Making fun of it. The next clip uh, about conservatives and their concept of marriage, not so funny. I've heard you talk about parents' rights to raise their kids how they want. In fact, I just double-checked. You voted no on making it illegal for kids to be married to adults at the age of 12 if their parents consented to it. You said, actually, that should be the law because it's the parents' right and the kids' right to decide what's best for them, to be raped by an adult. Okay? Do you know your kids who have been With married marriage. at age 12? That was any, the law. You, know you voted kids? not to change it. Do you know any kids who have been married at age 12? I, I, I don't need to. I do. Uh, and guess what? They're still married. Gentlemen. I don't think that's the argument he thinks it is. Marrying off 12-year-old girls. Good. Great even, actually, if you really think about it. But gays. Gay, gay marriage. What's next? Something worse? Like child marriage? Oh, whoops. It's just, it's so, okay, conservatives who are all for protecting kids and all against the gay agenda, what do you think when you look at something like this, when you hear a conservative politician say something like that? Where does your protect the kids brain go? Does it just go, I, oof, no, I can't, I can't hear it, so it doesn't exist. Like what, where are you now protecting kids? Where are you when they're saying stuff like this? I'll tell you where they are. They are doing what they're told, just spouting off what they've heard, what they've been told to say, without giving it much thought. Gay marriage is the next one people are talking about. Would you like to see that overturned? Yeah, right. Well, I, I believe in the Bible, and it's considered an abomination. Uh, homosexuality, in, in general, in general. So if you, if you spill seed, you're right. supposed to that's, give that's two turtle doves to a priest. Yeah. yeah. So are, have you ever done that? No. 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 You're, you're, you would be taking away their rights to, to get married. And, but you yourself are, are not in the same book of the Bible. Take away their rights. Take away their rights. Hmm. <laughs> um, the right, right for some people to get married. Um, I don't... I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Like most, hadn't thought of the contradictory nature of telling 
gay people they can't marry because of the Bible, but then realizing that most of the things you do modern day also state they can't be done according to the Bible. The people I've categorized as other must follow the Bible, um, but not me, though. I'm, I'm different. I'm not like the other girls. Just keep in mind, the things that they're afraid of gay marriage leading to are the things that they're pretty much already advocating for, so I don't think it's related at all. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.